I'm calling this video a mini review because I want to pause for a moment here and just kind of do an example of each of the kinds of problems that we have learned in this chapter so far. So I want to do an example of a multiplication or a division of rational expressions, uh, an addition or subtraction, uh, factoring of sum or difference of odd powers, and then solving a fractional equation. So we have problems that can look sort of similar, but sometimes have different strategies for how we'll solve them. So the first one here we have is a division. So I'm going to uh, do this by uh, flipping and factoring. So I'm going to factor the numerator of the first rational expression. And x squared minus x minus 6 is going to factor into x minus 3, x plus 2. The denominator, x squared plus 6x plus 9, will factor into x plus 3 times x plus 3, or you could call it x plus 3 squared, either way. I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, so I'm calling this flipping. I'm going to put the denominator of that rational expression as the new numerator. And the x squared minus 4, we're going to factor as the difference of two squares. And so that is going to become an x plus 2 and an x minus 2. So the work there has been done. Now the part that I enjoy, the canceling part, anything in the numerator can cancel with anything in any of the denominators. So I see an x plus 2 here and an x plus 2 there. There's an x plus 3 here that can cancel one of these x plus 3s. And I don't think anything else cancels. So at the end of the day, we're going to get an x minus 3 in the numerator and an x plus 3 times x minus 2 in the denominator. So there is a, a division. So I'm going to do an example of an addition or a subtraction. So let's do uh, 2 over x plus 1 plus 2 over x minus 1. And then I'm going to have minus... 1 over 1 minus x squared. So you can see there is no equal sign here, so we are not going to try to solve for anything. Our goal is to condense this and to try to get it to be just a single fraction. So I'm going to start again by factoring the denominators. The first two are just uh, linear, so they're okay the way they are. The 1 minus x squared we can factor as the difference of two squares, which is going to be a 1 minus x, 1 plus x. Now, this is not an exact match to the x minus 1, but it's going to be close enough. So I'm going to leave that as it is. I'm going to call the common denominator. I'm going to choose, I could either go 1 minus x, 1 plus x, or x plus 1, x minus 1. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to choose x plus 1, x minus 1. So that means I need common denominators. So for the first fraction, it has the x plus 1. I'm going to have to multiply top and bottom by what's missing. That's the x minus 1. The next term has the x minus 1. So I'm going to have to multiply top and bottom here by an x plus 1. And on the next one, it's got everything, so I'm going to leave it as it is. But to change this at 1 minus x to an x minus 1, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by negative 1. And so that will uh, make it have that same denominator. And that's kind of subtle. I don't know if that, I hope that makes sense. So I'm going to distribute on the first one. So 2 times the x minus 1 is going to be a 2x minus 2. Distributing the 2 over the x plus 1 is going to make that be a 2x plus 2. And now here, the negative 1 times that negative 1 will cancel. And so we'll just get a plus 1. So combining like terms, uh, we're going to see that the negative 2 and the positive 2 there will cancel. We're still going to get the 2x plus 2x to be a 4x. And that other 1 is a 1. 
and that is about the best we can do and nothing can cancel so that's going to be the end of the story so let's try now uh, a factoring a sum or difference of of an odd power so let's see if we can do uh, 8x to the third minus let's say 125 so the key to doing this is to recognize first that 8 is 2 to the third and so 8x to the third is going to be 2x quantity to the third 125 is 5 to the third and then we're going to have to remember our pattern so I'm going to remind you here that for the difference of cubes or odd powers the binomial term is going to agree with the sign of the original that we're factoring then we're going to go down in powers of a up in powers of b and since we've already used up our allotment for one minus then uh, everything here is going to be added so for us the role of a is being played by the 2x and the role of b is being played by the 5 so that's going to be a 2x minus 5 the a squared is going to be a 2x quantity squared which is 4x squared the AB is going to be a 2x times 5, which is going to be a 10x. And the B squared is going to be a 5 squared, which is a 25. Okay. And then finally, let's do, let's see, we've done, let's do a, a solving a, a, a equation. So let's see if we can do, we'll do 4x. I left myself enough room here 4x over x squared minus 9 minus x minus 1 over x squared minus 6x plus 9 and that's going to equal 2 over x plus 3 so let's start by factoring our denominators so we can see what we're looking at here and then I'm going to restrict the domain so x squared minus 9 is the difference of two squares. That's going to be an x minus 3 times x plus 3. x squared minus 6x plus 9 is going to factor into an x minus 3 times x minus 3. And we've already got that x plus 3 there. So our restricted domain, we have to make sure that we don't get a solution. That's going to be either 3 or negative 3 because that would leave us with an original equation that has divide by 0 which isn't defined so I'm going to multiply by and I'm trying to save space here so I'm going to multiply by x minus 3 x plus 3 so on that first one oh and I need I'm sorry I don't have enough we need an x minus 3 and x plus 3 and another x minus 3 so because our second denominator has two x minus threes, we need to have both of those factors in our least common denominator. So on that first term, we're going to get uh, an x minus three and an x plus three to cancel, but we're still going to get another uh, x minus three that survives. So I'm going to have to come back and distribute that four x over the x minus three. Now the next one, the two x minus 3's cancel. I'm going to have that minus sign. I'm going to have an x minus 1. And we're going to get that x plus 3 that still survived. On the right side, one of the, or the x plus 3 will cancel. And we're going to get both of the x minus 3's to come through. And I'm going to call that x minus 3 squared. Okay, let's do some distributing. So we're going to get now a 4x squared minus 12x. Now I'm going to see if I can do this double distribution here. I'm going to multiply these out and then multiply by the negative. So x times x is x squared. That negative will make it a minus x squared. We'll get a 3x and then a negative will make it a minus 3x. We'll have a negative x, and then the negative will make it a plus x. 
and the negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, and the other negative will make it a plus 3. Over here, I'm going to get 2 times the first one squared is x squared, twice the product makes that a minus 6x, plus the second one squared is going to be a plus 9. Okay, let's see if we can start cleaning things up here a little bit. On the left side, we have a 4x squared minus x squared is going to be a 3x squared. We're going to get a negative 12x minus 3x, that's negative 15x, plus another x makes that a negative 14x, so it looks like a minus 14x. And then we got a plus 3. On the other side, distributing that 2 is going to give us a 2x squared, a minus 12x, and a plus 18. Okay, looks like we're going to get an x squared to survive. I'm going to bring everything to the left. So subtracting 2x squared from the 3x squared will leave us with 1x squared. Adding 12x to the negative 14x makes that a minus 2x. And subtracting the 18 from the 13 is going to make that be a minus 15 equals 0. I think we can make this factor. And I believe that is going to be an x minus 5 and an x plus 3. So it looks like we are going to get at least potential solutions of positive 5 and negative 3. Now we have to go back and check out what our restrictions were. And it says we can't use negative 3. So in fact, our only good solution is going to be 5. Okay. So this is, should help you do that next homework assignment.